Hello, all you uh, starfighters out there. Commander Kingfish here, and I am starting a new Let's Play Starfield. And so we're going to start from the beginning with a new character. And uh, so uh, let's get this thing started. New. Start a new game. Confirm. Now, here in the beginning, I'm not going to bore you with a lot of the stuff, but once we get going in it, you'll see. So, we're going to be stuck somewhere in the universe. Not sure where. Alright, alright, Sol date, May 7th, 2330. That's a ways in the future. Uh, we're on the moon of Vectera. Okay. Oh, looking a little fuzzy. Oh, hey, Lynn. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady, go safe, go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, I work in the Star Dock. Except uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Sure. Good pep talks. Nice. Yeah. All right. And the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not okay. untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, nice. more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just okay. no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. Okay. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? All right. <sighs> One of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. Okay. Here we go. All right. I can't move yet. All right. Let's uh, get this okay. rolling. Okay. Let's see what we've got. One How small are we on step. time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty. Keep your breathing steady. And never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Okay. Yeah. Because God forbid we drill on a rock with breathable atmosphere. Know what I love about working in Freestar Collective Space? Fewer regs. A job like this in the United Colonies? Huh. Dreams of red tape. Sure. Ugh. Look at this one over here. Calvert! No! Ah, no, no, no! It's a laser, not a sledgehammer! Ease up! Benning, if you got paid per break, you'd be a millionaire. Let's go! Okay. Yeah, yeah okay. What do we say, Dusties? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exceptions. Come on, pick it up! Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. All right. Lynn's a hard ass, isn't she? But it sounds like the crew likes her. All right. Dusty, you're up. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. Okay, Little we deposits can... deposits are in that cavern. I'll shout out when I need you. Okay, we can do that. All right, there's a cutter. And, all right, let's all head off over here 
Uh, you think we'll be done here soon? All right, we got a couple of deposits here. If we aim it first and then that comes down, then it uh, mines much faster. All right. How they sucker you to join? Fall for the fancy pamphlets? Yeah, yeah. I'm busy. Of course you're busy. Anyone else to bother? All right, beryllium added. More beryllium. They're ready for us. More Get beryllium. Get back up here. Okie doke. Okay. All right. Come on. It's time. You're with okay. me. Okay. I'm not sure what time for what is, but. Oh, a new cave area, eh? Ah, uh, Stan is reading a clean break. Shutting down. All right, anything I can do? Let's go. All right, right here, right behind you. Hella, get the readings. Yeah, about that. Problem? Uh, not if you consider a spike in gravity readings oh. a problem. Okay. I don't. You don't? When we're after, it'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told, anyway. Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. Okay. Relax. It's just another job. Come on. It's always just another job, remember. Alright. Let's see what we got here. We're getting close, I think. Yeah, everything is just... <laughs> Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. Uh, promises. Why, why would anything promises. go wrong? Yeah, would exactly. you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. Client okay. is on his way. All right, all right. You, you got it. Okay, I gotta go up there. Well, first we're gonna, we're gonna go down here. Let's see. First off, I wanna turn my flashlight on. See if there's anything else down here. I see a couple more deposits. Uh, let's grab the beryllium. We can always sell it. All right. Just kind of looking to see if they added anything else. There looks like a more deposits, but I don't know if there's anything that we might find down here that might be of use to us. No, it just looks like an empty cave. I don't see anything. What's this? Neodymium. Okay, maybe that's worth something. We'll grab it anyway. We might need that for something. All right. I don't see any more of it down here. Okay, I guess we better get back to the task at hand. Ah. Uh. All right. Get up here. I think this is where we gotta go. Yeah, this is where we gotta go. There's Lynn and Heller. Okay, hold F to turn the. F I've already done that. I'm ahead of you there, boss. Um, still getting weird gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Just keep going. All right, Heller, if you say so. Ah, we better grab another one of these. Get the hell of it. All right. Uh, oh, what the hell? Do you see anything? Yeah, I see floating rocks. Is that supposed to be the case? 
floating rocks? And what's this? Nothing? Oh, there we go. There was something. Oh, am I out of juice? Okay. Alright. We got floating rocks, I guess. Oh. Alright, well. Let's, uh... Take this out. Uh, can I take it? What is that? Alright, we're gonna grab it. Oh, holy, what the hell? What is that? Lights? Kind of look like a star map? I don't know. Okay. I'm waking up. What the hell? Hey, come on. Come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Not sure. Any of this look familiar? Okay. All right, so this is where we set our body type and facial expressions and backgrounds and traits and stuff. And you have these sliders that uh, you can go back and forth, uh, click over, uh, to, uh, set yourself. And it's that way, these are the same sliders with body type and face, and you have a, a, a lot of, uh, profiles and stuff that you can deal to create your character. So I won't bore you with all of that. I think, uh, you can just set, uh, here if you wanted to just set a quick and easy one. Uh, so I'm going to start right here and then move on to body type. And then once I get to the background and traits, I'll uh, catch back up with you all. Okay, I think I got my uh, character pretty well built here. And as you can see, uh, I think he looks pretty good. Uh, suppose that's how I kind of want to look in real life, but I can't. Uh, and he's got a cat tattoo on the side of his face. That's cool, because I like cats. All right, now let's go to the background. This is where uh, things get a little bit uh, tricky. You've got uh, uh, all these different kinds of what you would call a... Uh, background or what he might be like a bounty hunter or a beast hunter uh, and what it does is gives you three starting skills and we'll see that in the skill tree once we get to that at that point uh, a matter of uh, choosing which ones will probably work the best for you in the beginning kind of depends on your type of uh, uh, play style uh, I guess uh, if uh, long hauler is going to give you uh, better uh, piloting skills and going to increase the amount of stuff that you can carry, uh, again, you'll be able to add uh, uh, skill points to these as you earn them. Uh, an industrialist is going to let you get security and persuasion. Uh, homesteader, you know surveying and geology gangster if you want to kind of go along that uh, lines so an explorer is going to give you uh, you know surveying astrodynamics so diplomats going to give you persuasion commerce and wellness uh, combat medic is going to give you pistol certification medicine and wellness and that's kind of the one I'm leaning towards only because it's going to give you some buffs and stuff and your pistol certification. Uh, since you find a lot of uh, pistols in the beginning, uh, will probably uh, do you some, uh, probably help you out. Uh, if you want to be a chef, 
uh, that sort of thing. Uh, and again, the bounty hunter, bouncer. So I'm going to choose combat medic. All right, now we go on to our traits. Now here, it gets a little uh, confusing. Again, you have uh, stuff that, uh, these are things that uh, once you set these, this is what you have. So you have alien DNA, which uh, uh, I'm going to start with that one. I like that one for, uh, you know, whatever reason. It kind of gives you some, uh, a little bit of a buff and helps uh, with your increased uh, health and oxygen. Uh, but if you wanted to have a home to start with, uh, you're going to end up with uh, a mortgage, but I guess that's about $500 a week game time. So uh, you're going to, that wouldn't be a problem. Empathy, uh, you're deeply connected to the feelings of others, performing actions, companions like will result in temporary increase in combat effectiveness. Uh, but if you do something that they don't like, they can get to be pretty, uh, uh, how shall we say, uh, uh, angry. They can become angry. Extrovert, uh, if you're a people person, uh, venturing with your humans, but uh, so you'll uh, use less oxygen when you're uh, got your human companions, uh, but you use more when you're out and alone. And if you choose extrovert, then you can't choose uh, introvert. And introvert is just basically the opposite. Uh, the Free Star Collective it gives you access to different dialogue options, and that's going to be the case with uh, the Free Star Collective. Uh, the United Colonies and the Neon Street Rats. So if you was to choose this one, then you're not going to be able to choose these two. Uh, I am leaning towards United Colonies. Uh, and you get uh, better rewards from some of their missions. So, uh, uh, but if you see However Crime bounty by other factions is greatly increased and it uh, can't be in, uh, you know included with them uh, so I think uh, boy I've always had a kind of tough time deciding uh, I think raised universal the sanctum universum access to a special chest full of items in the sanctum universum in new atlantis but lose access to the house of enlightened chest and i think that one so uh and let's see uh which spaced and terra firma is kind of the opposite. Uh, I think Taskmaster might be pretty good. Uh, well, you know, let's go with the United Colonies. That just takes care of that. All right, so those are our three traits. So now uh, we go on to, I think, the next, uh, let's see, uh, I think we finish here. Oh, we got to put a name, Kingfish, obviously. And hit enter. And... He, him, that works. Uh, and let's uh, hit R to confirm. Kind of ironic seeing a former combat medic out for the count with a head injury. But hey, it's what you signed up for. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? No, just that there was uh, this uh, light and music. Uh, it was incredible like a dream or a vision easy there high flyer probably just the endorphins kicking in when you passed out don't go having an experience on me you'll walk it off 
More importantly, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Oh, okay. Uh, follow Lynn. Well, we're kind of going to follow Lynn. We need to do a little bit of looking around Our first. Constellation contact is on approach. So, Wait, like, the explorers group. We need that med pack. I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. And you're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just uh, saying. Uh, let's got see. A Nothing else here. Yeah, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. What do we half got? The crew uh, no. But it's still there. Same with constellation. Yeah, but come on. Exploring space. Uh, to get down to the bottom anymore. stuff. Ain't the space we've already got complicated enough? You can go in there. Bad, there looks apparently. like there's something more back there, but I can't get to it. All right. Uh, credit stick. We will take that. That's the big thing. We're going to want to build up credits as much as possible. Whoa. Uh, you don't look good. Yeah. Okay, well, it is what it is. Basically, I'm just kind of looking around for stuff. Now, I could grab a whole bunch of stuff, but we'll have an opportunity to get all of that. That, that will help your commerce out. And that's probably what we're going to take when we uh, do our first skill point, is we'll get our commerce started. All right. Uh... All right, let's get the following, Lynn. I think there's more stuff out here. We want all of these cards. Uh, all right. Yep. Like I said, there's a whole bunch of stuff outside. And we'll probably come back in here and look again. But let's go. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. Okay. Uh, we do that over here on the inventory. And we can equip. The other thing, too, is see this down here? Hide helmet in breathable atmosphere, breathable areas. This way you're not having to get in and out and take your helmet on and off. So we'll do that. And we also will do it for our uh, space suit. Uh, we'll hide that, and we got our utility on underneath, so we're not uh, we won't be naked. All right. Okay. Airlock. And we're out on Victera, the moon of Victera. Follow Lynn. Well, we'll follow Lynn a little bit. Uh, I think we will end up in a firefight over here, but uh, we want to grab as much stuff as we can. You got a few more digs to go before I feel like talking to you. Yeah, fine, fine, fine. You're going to be dead in a minute here anyway. Uh, where the hell? What do we got? All right. Need some coffee or something? Got a packet uh, right here somewhere. All right, come on. Lynn sure seems to like you. Guess Where you is know. it? Right awesome. here. Credits. We'll take all of that. Uh. I'm looking for it. Where is it? There's a gun around here someplace, I think. And maybe it won't spawn out until... Until I go talk to them. Okay, well, let's go talk. Alright. Oh, here it is. It's right up here. We got another med pack. And our pistol. And let's go ahead and equip equip the pistol just so it's in place and 
There we go. All right. Okay. are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazal. And no Barrett. Not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? Ah, uh, you could, uh, call it that. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Spirit, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I'd lost them. Oh. Barrett? Barrett, exactly. Oh, what did you do? All right. All right. All right. Yep. Aim like that. And. Oh, already my health is low. My, my right. head is on fire! Uh, uh, now look at you! I'm coming! Oop. Oh, I think I didn't do it quick enough. And I hit the wrong button. Return to the game. Uh. Holy shit! That's the Crimson Fleet! Okay, I'm not going to play cowboy on this one. I thought it was going to be cool to get on their ship. But we're going to uh, just work at taking these guys out. Okay, yep. Alright, they're going to come off. Somebody cover me! All right, come on. Get back My here. Eyes. My eyes. All right. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right. I'll make a break for it. Okay. Oh, where are you going? God damn it! Oh, try that on me. Oh, he's not dead yet. All right. Come on. Come on. How we doing? We got a couple of more to take out. Still coming at you. Okay, come on. Better 
Alright, he's down. I think one left. Alright. We got them all. Okay. Alright. So, the thing that we want to do now is we need to go and loot Can't all these guys. The fleet hit us. Uh, cutter. Because we're going to sell all of this stuff. And, how about you down there? Can I get down to you? Yeah. Alright, we've got two, you. There's not much else to loot. Uh, oh, you're not dead yet. Okay. Ripshank. I thought there was some over here. Yeah. Take that and that. Uh, I don't know if we can get into here. Oh, oh, it's broken. Dang. Oh, uh, that was not good. When it says it's broken, I guess it means it's broken. And we already robbed that. Okay. Uh, let's grab this stuff. And did we get you? Nope, not yet. And we want that. That's got credits. Uh, okay. And... You're not dead yet. Did we get this, this box? Better not be coming out of our pay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Alright, well let's get over here to Barrett. We appear to have suffered fewer casualties than would be expected. Sure. Still in one piece. Oh god. I'm gonna throw up. Oh heller. Of course Barrett was being followed. Every time. Now well, that was some fine work on the pressure. Thanks, Barrett. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. Well... Uh, yeah, if they can tell me what this artifact of yours is, I'm in. Marvelous. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, 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 I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. All right. Thanks, Lynn. Just go. Before I say something I regret. Well, none of that's settled. Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo. Again. <laughs> very well. Uh, oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very oh. useful out there. All right. It even tells the time. Okay. Oh, I get a watch, a Kronos watch. Nice. Okay. Hey, look at that. All right. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? Ah. Uh, uh, why, why send me? Shouldn't you go? Come on. You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. All right, all right. Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. 
Sure. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. All right. All right. Fine. All right. Let's exit out of this. And Vasco, don't let him break my ship. <laughs> All right, Vasco, buddy. You're with me now, or I'm with you. I'm not sure what, but... Let's uh, do this. Uh, all right, screenshot. Okay, Vasco, I guess it's onto the ship. Let's get up here and get going. Uh, e board. Captain, I assume you know how to fly a class A starship. As yeah. Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. Oops. I will attempt to boost the shields, just in case there are any difficulties. Okay, whatever you say, but first thing we're going to do is sleep so we can get our health back without having to use a med pack. There we go, and our, we're all healthy again. The other thing we need to do is I want to... Uh, go into oh can't I get into the cargo hold oh I guess I can't yet huh well we still got plenty of room all right well let's get on up here and get into the pilot seat and we will go from there come on all right let's sit down here and Shields ready the rest is up to you all right let's hold the space bar and uh, get off this rock okay All right, and here we are, we're in space. Okay. What now do we need? that we are in orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Okay, hold left alt and to switch between systems and allocate power uh, by powering up all the systems. Okay, including the grav drive. All right. And let's do that. Optional power up. All right, let's do this. Caught me with my pants down. If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can lock in to fire a homing missile. The enemy shields are down, Captain. Ballistic weaponry excels at damaging the hull once shields are offline. Okay. I'm taking you down! Alright. Okay. Congratulations on surviving your first Starship assault. All right, Captain. so the first thing we want to do we is search the wreckage for spare parts yep. and other salvage. There we go. We're close, close enough, so close let's do it before we can access the remains. Let's take it. All right, I did that. We already got it. All right. Now what? Oh, did I do it too fast? 
Come on. All right, what's next? Two more Crimson Fleet ships are jumping there we into go. our location, Captain. Okay. This is the one that's targeted. Slow down. that other ship? Where's he at? Come on. This all you got? All right, let's take him out. Grabs in the red. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where are you? The amount of Crimson Fleet hostility has been far more than anticipated. At this rate, the odds of continual assault from their ships are high enough to jeopardize our mission. All right, so we got to get short. They are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete. Okay. A staging area for pirates. What do we got? Do we got anything in here? All right. Press tab. Okay. Oh yes, we want that. There's another one here. And let's. Uh, and you know what I got to do? I have to put a little more into the old engine here. There we go. Now that's a little better. Alright. And we want those credits, absolutely. Alright, so we are off to the next base. Let's go E. Crete. Uh, let's travel there, actually. If we do it like this, get the tab, let's go here, travel between the stars, zoom out to see, yep, yep, okay. We can do that, and we're here on Argos. Uh, we need to go to, that's, uh... We need to travel to Crete. And we need to go to this research lab. Yes. We need to travel. Oh, I guess since I'm in, I don't need my grab drive. And we are auto saving. We have Let's arrived in orbit. The abandoned facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. Okay, well, let's uh, tab this. This is the way I do it. It's probably okay. Use storm uh, rotate. Uh, okay, one of the things we're going to do is scan that. There we go. All right. Now let's uh, land and once we get landed, I think this will be an I'll excellent from here on out, Captain. Okay. Cool. We got Vasco that's gonna be following us. Alright. Well oh uh, there goes the ship. That's not good. All right, let's get up out of the pilot seat. Okay. Well, one thing I want to do, let's see if I can do it now. Uh, I need to go to my inventory. 
there we go now I can see my cargo hold and uh, now if I go back to my inventory I can uh, put uh, uh, I can store I probably want to hang on to that maelstrom so we'll keep that we'll put these into the cargo hold and we'll put the extra cutters into the cargo hold Oop, I want to store four of them confirm and then I got that there and then as far as helmets uh, I want to store this one and apparel I got that outfit and then that one uh, that's 15 Ah, we might as well leave this one on. We'll add, we'll just go ahead and leave those in there. Resources, we can hit the store all resources button and that way we don't have to mess with each one. Uh, and then we've got our aid, which is our med pack and our heal paste. Okay, and then ammo, you can see we've picked that up and that up. Uh, as you can see, there's no mass to that, so pick up all the ammo that you can get. All right. Well, that's what I wanted to, to get through today, and uh, the next episode, we're going to take on this uh, Crimson Fleet boss and uh, see what uh, can transpire out of that. All right, all you starfighters out there, if you enjoyed the episode, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps out the video and uh, it uh, uh, helps helps it move up. Uh, if you like, uh, please subscribe to the channel. That really helps the channel out a lot. All right, all you starfighters, keep fighting away out there. Don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.